Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are let. Come on, yes, honey. Don't rub my. Don't rub the mic. Do me a favor. Yes, honey. Get away from the mic. Come on. I love you, but don't. Come on. I really want to finish this up. Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we're let's playing Breath of Fire. In the last episode, we showed you the fake ending, or I showed you the fake ending, and now we're gonna go for the real ending, which involves me using Angie on Mira or Tear. Yes, I want a witch granted. Give me your powers, or. Bring my daughter, I mean my sister, back to life. I did not come here to get my wish grin, I came for your head. You must die. Why did I take out the sword? Well, that's because I'm gonna chop up lettuce for you, that's it, yeah. Chop up lettuce, that's what I'm gonna do. Angie! The power of all of our party members combined can defeat you, goddess. All you're doing is crying like a baby. And there we go. That's all you need to do. You can't challenge me to a fight, you're only humans. Well, actually, uh... I can't say any of them are humans. I don't believe this. Uh-oh, true form. She looks like some disgusting thing with tentacles and she looks like an alien. So let's show her the power of Angie again. Oh yeah. I am a dragon. And I eat you. And yeah, the uh, goddess has this spittle called Big Crash. Which I'm sure would hurt. If I wasn't so badass. Yeah, and the goddess basically, she she loses a lot of HP right there, but she's not dead. She has a giant second wind. So yeah, this battle's just going to be a back and forth slugfest between the goddess and the combined powers of our party. And I say if you get below 300, or below 450, I would totally, I would recommend... Uh, healing up. So yeah, just use auto battle. And let her hit you or miss or whatever. So yeah, as a kid, as a child, I never ended up doing this ending for a while, actually. Because I could never figure out how to use Engie. Like I said in the last episode, I always have Karn morphed into whatever the hell he was morphed into at the time. Usually Doof. Anyways, um... Yeah, uh, yeah, so I never got this ending, uh, well, I did eventually get the ending, I'm not gonna lie, but I was like, how do you get this ending, what the hell, and, uh, so what I ended up doing, you know, and I always thought that the ending was, the true ending was that one that I just showed you last episode, and, uh, yeah, I was like, this is a, this is a crap ending. This is an awful ending. I remember playing this game like a bunch when I was in middle school. Lots of fun times. And I remember one time, my science teacher, I know this isn't, you might as well, I might as well, like, yeah. I'm sorry, this battle is like, not that interesting. It's just like a back and forth slugfest, but. One time my science teacher back in middle school told me my handwriting was awful. And he wanted me to redo the whole homework. And I was so pissed off at him at that point. That I just friggin' uh, wrote it even worse. When I handed it in again. And then he got, then I got in trouble. But that was alright. It was worth it. I was trying to play, I was trying to, I forget, I think I was in your Spire when, uh, when I did that. And I was like, I just want to play this game. Screw homework. I need to heal up. Yeah, so the goddess has a huge second win. She is a bitch. But 
Ryu is gonna show her what the dealio is. You know what I mean, yo. Slam! Too bad you can't do more than 999 damage. Unless it calculates more, and they just don't show you, but I doubt it. Yeah, this game was odd, is odd because, like, most of the characters, they're, they're like a four-letter word. You know, their name's only like four letters. And, uh, they're just odd. But yeah, let's kill her. Die, goddess. We will show you the power of the light dragons. And that you cannot mess with us. Did that last attack do a hundred and something damage? Alright. One more heal. Yeah, it's kind of unfair with all these cures. I mean, I could sit in here for hours. Or not hours, but quite a long time just beating her face in. And she wouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah, so this, this battle, some people might have... I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode, but some people might have like liked to handicap themselves, seeing how powerful Angie really is. They might like say, you know what, I'll only use it for that battle that you need to make her reveal herself. Because this she actually can be kinda hard. Like this big crash ability can be very, you know, it's very painful if you're not in your fancy form. But there we go, we beat her. We get ten experience and twelve gold pieces. You can't win, humans. This is only temporary. I shall return. All right, we beat her. All right. How about we move? Come on. Come on. Look, the, the floor behind you is, is falling, and we've got plenty of time to move. Come on, guys. Let's move. Come on. Come on, Ryu. All right, all right. Come on, come on. We only got one more row left. Come on. Only one more. Oh! Why didn't we move? And there we go. We were saved by bird people. The Winland Army. They came around and saved us. Isn't that amazing? And look at Sarah. I'm proud of you, Ryu. You turned the tables on the Goddess of Destruction. You and your companions completed the mission of the legendary warriors. This is the beginning of a new legend. I have watched you succeed, so I have no regrets in leaving you. Wait, Sarah! No! Goodbye, Ryu. You've made me proud. You are a true warrior. No, Sarah! I was supposed to rescue you. The hero always rescues the ladies. And then the Dragon Lord, or uh, Landon, says, You've done well. I'll remember that you saved the world. This is the beginning of a new legend. It's finally over. It's about time. There is still much work for you. You must help those who lost much during the war. Can't we take a break? A real hero doesn't quit until the job is done. We're making history! We'll all be legends someday! That's right. Oh, don't forget, it's just so much money. What? Again, with the money. Is he worthy of the status of hero? Let's go! Nina, we need you to return to the castle. The king is awaiting. There's still a lot of work left to be done. Tell the king that I'll return when I'm ready. So there we go. That's the end of the game. That is dra uh, Breath of Fire. Almost a dragon quest. Got him. Losing it. So yeah, I had a real fun time playing this game. Brought back a lot of memories. 
I think that's supposed to be Nina flying around. It is pink. Anyways, I had a lot of fun playing this game, and as I mentioned a long time ago, this is going to be the new series that I'm going to be starting, so... Look forward to Breath of Fire 2 in the future. Not right away, though. Look, there, Mogu's like, Man, I can't do it. I can do it. Oh, no, I'm dizzy. I'm gonna... Look at that face. He's like, ugh, 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 ugh. Where are we? Oh, Blue went back to sleep. Oh, that's what they were like. Where's Blue? She went back to sleep. Ox, she had a baby. Oh, what are you gonna name it? Ox 2? The return. For more money. Ah, Gobi. Going back to doing his thing. And there goes Karn. And he's gonna be the leader of the thieves now. Look, it's back to the three original heroes right there. And they're like, Ew, thanks, giant stone robot. Come on, Nina. Stop talking to the dead robot guy. Yeah, so like I said, a lot of fun playing this game. Brings back a lot of memories. It's just a good game. See you later, Bo. Keep it real. But yeah. So yeah, I will be playing Breath of Fire 2, but just uh, not right away. Um, yeah, this is just a fun game, and just a lot of fun. See you later, Ryu! And Ryu's walking back to his town. Look, we didn't even put... We didn't even fix anything. All these people are trying to fix stuff. Town ready to roll. Ryu's a hero. And here he comes. Oh, Sarah. Don't look directly at the sun, Ryu. Or your face will be burned off. Well, actually. But yeah, this game. Great game. Excellent start to a fantastic franchise. Sadly, it didn't. Sadly, it didn't stick around. Uh, I hope that one day they'll, they'll think about coming back to it. And, uh, but like I heard lately, Capcom's been kind of lately with their uh, games. I mean, I heard that they're not bringing out Meg. Look, Ted Woosley. You think he would have fixed some of the trans, the weird ass translations? But that's all right. Anyways, yeah, Capcom lately hasn't been doing a good job of like bringing games out, like, I don't know, like Mega Man Legend 3, like I saw it in the Nintendo Power book, they're like, oh yeah, it's coming out, and they had all this fan help and stuff to start it up, and then all of a sudden, I guess they just canceled the project, it's like, what the hell, and then the guy who, like, helped make Mega Man, the, uh, the art director and the, like, one of the creators of the game just, like, left creative differences and stuff. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with Capcom. I wish they would bring out a new a new Breath of Fire, but if you can't if you can't uh, see a new one, you might as well play all the old ones and enjoy why this series was so damn awesome back then. But yeah, we got they had you know, they had some good some good enemies and I just kind of wish they had a little more variety in the enemies because, like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did chop out a lot of battles just due to the fact that, like, they didn't have that many different varieties of enemies, like, and you always kept kind of running into the same ones, but that's alright. Now, to talk about some things that I really enjoyed about this game, I really, really liked the way that they, uh, they did, um, Ryu turning into a dragon in this game. In the next game, ah, uh, man, the next game, the dragon, him turning into a dragon, because he always turns into a dragon, Ryu, in the game, in, in all the Breath of Fire games. It's just awful. Like, it's, it's not that good. I think this one and Breath of Fire 3 are the best ways that they could have done it. I like all the characters in this game, except Gobi, but, I mean, Gobi, you know, he has his uses, he's cool. You know, he's original. I like that like all the, the, the whole world 
has like all these different clans of people and I just think that's really cool like very original not like like sometimes the Final Fantasy games or or Dragon Quest games it's just like oh there's just humans everywhere it's like it's nice to see that there's different races of people yes thank you Capcom for bringing this bad boy out this was really fun and like, you know, the second game, I think, is a lot harder than this. But they, they, uh, they made an excellent first step, that's for sure. And screw you, Nintendo Power, for saying that this doesn't stand the test of time. So this has been Kenshin1913, and I hope you enjoyed Let's Play Breath of Fire. I will see you in the next LP. See ya.